Rouse High and you're watching another Supernatural Review and this is Season 6, Episode 13, Unforgiven. If you're new here, I do a recap and review of every single episode of Supernatural, so let's get into it. This is actually a pretty okay episode. Okay, maybe a little bit leaning on good, but pretty okay episode. I've been very critical of Season 6, like I always remember Season 6 is not a good season, like probably the worst season. But now actually re-watching everything back and analyzing it, I feel like there's actually a lot of okay episodes, so I'm kind of like, I don't know why I was thinking thinking that way. Maybe it was coming off of season 5, which season 5 might be the greatest season Supernatural, I don't know. And also because I think like the bad episodes in season 6 are really really bad and then like the good episodes of season 6 aren't like too strong so maybe that is where it's all coming from. But we do still have like a lot of episodes this season, like 10 more episodes so maybe we are getting into a point where there's a lot of bad episodes but I think the next two are actually also good like French Mistake is in two episodes I think the next one's also good so I don't know exactly I mean we're just gonna see but maybe I was always just wrong but I do still feel that way with this season is trying to do too much and so but I feel like that wasn't too much in this episode so Sam has a soul back he knows he has a soul back but he still doesn't have the memories and stuff and so it makes sense for the writers to do something that's connecting to a case that, you know, when Sam had his memory, like, it makes sense for them to do this episode, like, to have an episode like that. I think it's interesting that they, I, uh, you know, it's a woman that Sam's left with that the, the monster thing was targeting, and so, like, I get it, I get it. I feel like he was getting flashbacks a lot, which... I feel like that might be like I don't know just like thinking about it it was like a lot of flashbacks and I know like some things can trigger it but I guess maybe that's like the point and so like Dean was worried about doing this case worried about it too much like Sam getting involved because he's worried about you know the wall breaking down I think happens at the end of this episode right which I was kind of hoping it would be like a few more episodes before that happened because I think like I remember it was like really hard on Sam right so I just thought it was more episodes but maybe this is it or maybe it just scratches it slightly and then we you know it's gonna be a bigger thing later but it, it just scratches slightly I, I can't exactly remember yeah I think this episode was really strong I think it was not strong I said it was an okay episode but I think in the end it's okay I'm leaning to it's good so I guess it's okay if I say things are strong but it is it does feel very episodic even though it has some serialization and obviously takes you know parts from what we didn't see and has elements of that that it, I think it is strong. It is a monster we have not seen before and so I think they're still keeping it with the monster thing which I think is okay and they kind of got into that thing where it's like the monster wasn't killing them it was trying to mate and create more of those monsters so I kind of get it okay I don't know why like this didn't come up sooner you know if this guy's plotting revenge or whatever like he could have done it sooner like it's been a year but you know, obviously from the writer's perspective, they need to have it have it happen when Sam's told is back and he doesn't remember stuff, but you know, when you think about it more logically, it's like, why did this happen now? So how did they know everyone that Sam slept with? Like, I just, that, that's a little, uh. it's also weird that like Sam and the grandfather like told these people what was happening a year ago because that doesn't happen that often in Supernatural, I feel like, and you know, when they do, it's like, it is a really big deal, and I feel like, I don't know, like, I just feel like it, <laughs> I don't know, obviously they had to have it happen for the story, but it's still, like, it's a little bit on the nose, but yeah, not too much to critique, I'm not, I'm trying to think of ways that this episode could have been stronger, and I don't know, like, we just all hate the grandfather character so much, it's interesting when you think about it like they took that approach like I feel like they needed some kind of version of a villain and so always when you have someone that's a villain but like also like has some personal connection like it's their grandfather like that's always good in writing but it's just like something where it's like we're also not that connected to this grandfather because he was dead and he came back to life and he wasn't really that much in Supernatural before like maybe one or two episodes before so it's not like we have this big connection to it and he's just like such an unlikable guy and like you know he's saying these lines about you know he doesn't know like 21st century things and stuff like that and it's trying to be funny but it's like it's just kind of annoying too and 
technically we did see in this episode like they had him in those flashbacks and they had him in those scenes i mean honestly i don't know how sam was able to get around with all those girls i mean you're in the, the, the town for what like two weeks like how did he i don't know but i think overall a good episode i don't know if this is an episode when you're just like showing episodes for people to watch like you know out of the blue i don't know if this is an episode you would show like i don't think it's good enough in that way because maybe if it was a little bit more funnier like it could but it i don't think it is so this is my review i'm gonna end it here but you know comment below your thoughts and thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe and bye